Good evening and welcome to 365 Days of Amazing Stories with Theo Mare. Here we are and I'm continuing the story of the treasure seeker. Christopher. Christopher Block. He's made it to the depression and the earth. Having followed the directions that he'd heard the apparition had given. He dug and dug until he reached a point where there was rock on all sides of him. And the feeling that he began to have was like nothing he had ever felt before. He knew inside that this was a very, very special moment in his life. He continued to dig and reached a stone in front of him. Of course, in the beginning, he couldn't tell what it was, but after continuing to dig dirt out and away from this hole that he was creating, he found the square stone. The square stone was embedded within another stone that was flat. Now, fortunately, he'd remembered the instructions that had been given by the apparition, which was to pry this square stone out. He'd thought well and brought a flat bar with him, which he used to jam into the crack and then slowly little by little eke this square stone out. He pulled it out, placed it out of the way. With him, he brought a lamp and he lit it. And holding it in his mouth, he began to crawl on his hands and knees down through this hole. And it was not pleasant. His knees were getting bunged up and it was tough on his hands, very rough. The air was cool and it was very dry. He continued until he got to the staircase that had many, many stairs and down he went step by step. Now traveling through this darkness, it was a little intimidating was closed in, especially in the beginning. If one was claustrophobic, there's no way you could have made it down this passageway. He held on to the walls. He held the lamp now in his hand. And when he got to the bottom, he saw the doors to the left and the right. He remembered that to the right were the bones of those whose treasure it was. And he was not to go through that door, nor was he to go through the door to the left where there were adders, poisonous snakes. He went to the door ahead. There were bolts and locks upon it. He brought out the spring root, placed it before the door held it before the door, and the lock sprang open. Now he remembered the instructions of the apparition, which was not to get taken by the gems and the glitter that they made, but to go to the center of this vault, to the copper chest within which there were gold coins. Now there were gold coins everywhere, but the apparition had said specifically to go to this copper chest. He went, it was closed. It too had a lock upon it and he placed the spring root before it and it popped off. He opened the lid carefully, wondering if indeed what would be in it was what the apparition had said. 
because you must remember that that old shepherd, Martin, would not believe the apparition. He thought that it would lead him astray, that his neck was more precious than any treasure. Martin carefully opened the lid. And we'll find out tomorrow what did he find. Okay, thanks for joining. Have a good rest of your day or evening.